a bad omen for Ukraine and NATO. Shogu and Gerasimov are disengaging hard nuclear hawks, their replacements. The coup succeeded, Wagner celebrations. Russian media reports that Putin has agreed to remove the current Minister of Defense and Commander of the Special Military Operation in Ukraine. War News 24-7's prophecy is being verified that the Hawks prevailed in the Brodifer and this development is certainly not good for Ukraine. In fact, it is only ominous and their replacements will belong to the hardcore circles of the military establishment who will remove the white gloves from the Russian army. That was the phraseology they used for a long time. The coup succeeded and Russia will change its approach to Ukraine and to NATO as a whole. With all that entails, it remains to be seen when the removal of the two will take place after three to six months at the most, so as to not be seen as a compensation of, of, of Vladimir Putin. So in more detail, Russian media report that the trade-offs for the cancellation of the rebellion for the head of Wagner, the kickbacks are, number one, the removal of Russian defense minister and the chief of the Russian armed forces. And number two, the immunity of mercenary fighters. So guys, this here, even though this has been canceled, the Wagner group has gotten something out of it. And this is terribly bad for Ukraine, and it's just more trouble for NATO. So, as I said, so it begins. I love you guys. Get right with God, and I'll be back with part two. See you later.